Details in the deaths of a local rapper's grandparents one year later. This comes just days after three arrests were made in the case. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman is here in the studio. Nicolette has been on top of this story. Now, we found out the rapper's grandfather died after being shot, but now we know about the grandmother. Yeah, that's exactly right, Cherish. So we have found out from the Mobile County District Attorney's Office how both of the grandparents died, and they tell us this is an unusual case. They confirmed one victim died from being shot, and the other died as a result of the fire. Now, a fire broke out at a home on Dr. Thomas Avenue the evening of February 17th, 2021. Tony and Leela Lewis were found dead inside. Mobile Police have previously confirmed Tony Lewis was shot multiple times. On Friday, police arrested these three men person of interest Darren Southall, Terrence Watkins, and Jamarcus Chambers, charging them all with two counts of murder and several counts of shooting into an occupied building. Police confirmed last year they had been looking into the connection between the couple's grandson, local, local rapper Honeycomb Brazy, whose real name is Nashawn Jones, and Southall. Police were trying to confirm a previous beef between the two. Cherish. Nicolette, has anyone in the DA's office elaborated on if they believe there's any connection between Darren Southall and Honeycomb Brazy? No, they've not. So we're still looking for answers as to why this happened. And the DA's office, again, says this is an unusual case. And that's part of the reason why they can't really talk about it at this point. So we're going to be, of course, staying on top of this story for of sure. Of course. Are court dates set for the accused? Well, that's also unclear. So okay. all three of these men are currently in federal custody. South Hall is this man right here. He's a convicted drug kingpin. He was just sentenced to 35 years for his role in a drug trafficking organization. Now Watkins, you see there on the right of your screen, he's listed in the federal drug trafficking conspiracy case as a co-defendant to South Hall. He's charged with possession and intent to distribute cocaine. Now Jamarcus Chambers, he's on the left of your screen. He is also being tried in the crime in a crime related to South Hall. Now, federal court documents show that he is a quote high-ranking member of the drug trafficking conspiracy listing South Hall in that complaint multiple times. So, since they're all currently in custody, it is unclear of when a bond hearing may take place. All of this going on in Mobile. Yes. Nicolette, thank you for staying on top of this story.